I'd like to inform you that we have some special, special, special guests in the house today. On behalf of our Father in the Lord, Pastor W.F. Kumuyi, and the entire Deeper Life Bible Church worldwide, I'd like to welcome Bishop Francis Waleoke. He is the national president of the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria. You are dearly welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. With him on the podium here is Archbishop John Prince Daniel, the Deputy National President. He's here with us of the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria. You are dearly welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. The National Executive Coming with him are seated in Hall 1. Please, men of God, can you rise for recognition and the greetings of our Father in the Lord and the entire church? Church, what do we say to them? Say it again. Amen. Please, you can be seated. I have a call on Bishop Francis Waleoke, the PFN National President, to the pulpit for his words of greetings. Praise the Lord. Children of the living God, praise the Lord. Amen. Um, it gives me great pleasure and it's a great privilege to be here today together with our National Deputy President and the core executive members of the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria to to come and celebrate with you our daddy Pastor W.F. Kumuye. Particularly on the momentous occasion of him becoming 80 years old. the honor of sending a congratulatory message to daddy um, I fondly refer to him as daddy because truly he's our daddy <laughs> and when I send the message to him to congratulate him I indicated that we'll be glad if he gives us the permission that I want to lead the core leaders of the PFN, Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, to come and felicitate with him on the occasion of his birthday. So I send that message. And <laughs> you. Okay. And you know, 
I, I was expecting. <laughs> okay. So some people are faster than me. <laughs> It's an occasion of joy, and your joy will be full today. When you are going back home today, you will go back with overflowing joy. Every, every burden that the enemy has put upon you shall be lifted today. So, I was surprised. I was expecting that either that you will ask the secretary to send a text message or something, but in his typical humility daddy called me <laughs> daddy called me a man that is truly great blessed by God and truly humble can we give the Lord a big hand Baba we celebrate you sir we celebrate you sir So daddy called me and um, spent some time and he said, oh, he's delighted and that he will be in Abuja today and that since the leaders will be coming from every part of Nigeria because they are here today from Kaduna, from Lagos, from Adukure, from Jos, from Abuja here. Daddy said, the best place to meet is to meet him here today. And um, it's a privilege. Daddy, Daddy, we are here to congratulate you formally, your children in Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, the body of Christ. We recognize you as our icon, our leader, our father. Our mentor, we celebrate you, sir. And Amen. Silver and gold we do not have, but a little token to appreciate the grace of God on Baba's life is this painting W F K our bastion of integrity more grace to you sir this is from the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria Baba we celebrate this And daddy, we wish you many, many more decades of meritorious service in the name of Jesus. Uh, you have spent over 50 years of your life serving Christ. And according to Psalm 92 verse 14, you will still continue to bring forth fruit in your old age. And you will finish gloriously. Let somebody shout it loud. Hallelujah. Daddy, you may be seated. Daddy, you may be seated. Everybody, please sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Thank you. I have a few minutes to make one or two remarks. On behalf of or the founding fathers of the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, the board of trustees of the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, the National Advisory Council, and the National Executive Council, some of whom are here with me today, we join the Deeper Christian Life Ministry worldwide and all the 
several millions of daddy's children and admirers and lovers to wish daddy happy birthday and many happy returns. In Romans chapter 12 and verse 5, the Bible says, So we, being many, are one body in Christ, and everyone members of one another. We recognize that the body of Christ is one. Um, true believers and true ministers of Christ Jesus only is our message. Jesus only is our savior. Jesus only is our redeemer. Jesus is the only one who died for us on the cross of Calvary, who shed his precious blood, who gave his life for us. He laid down his life for us. And he was buried, and he rose again on the third day, to give us a brand new life and he has gone to heaven to prepare a place for everyone who truly believe in him and all who truly believe in Christ and receive him as a Lord and Savior we are one body serving one master having one God and we're going to one heaven and uh, you better love me now because you may be my next door neighbor in heaven and you won't, you won't have a choice but to love me at that time. So we recognize the oneness of the body of Christ the tr of true believers and we are so glad that daddy pioneered this move. The revival that broke out in Nigeria immediately after the civil war God raised daddy anointed daddy and gave daddy a word of salvation a word of holiness which he has preached without compromise for decades after decades after decades after decades after decades praise the Lord when the boss that was sent to pilot us to church today, a mommy, my wife, was sitting beside me and said, look, look at that boss. At the back of the boss, the message is, Jesus only is our message. I had Baba preach that and sang that in 1976 in Ibadan. It was... This is my own personal testimony. It was during that message that Baba preached in about the 1976 journey Easter at Children's Home School in Malete. That was when God called me into ministry <laughs> through the message of that. Daddy, we are grateful that you yielded to the call of God. We are grateful that you are being a shining example. You are being consistently consistent over the, over the decades. Uh, no, no looking right, no looking left, just looking at the cross and moving steadily. You are a shining example to all of us. You are an inspiration to all of us. And you will continue to be until your work is ended in Jesus' name. In Psalm 37 and verse 37, I think that makes it easy to remember. Psalm 37, verse 37, it, reads, it says, Mark the perfect man and behold the upright. For the end of that man is peace. Um, people who say that 
we cannot be upright they are wrong the bible makes it clear that we can be through christ and through christ alone people who say we cannot be perfect they are wrong the bible makes it clear that we can be perfect through christ and through christ alone and the bible makes it clear that when you see somebody who is perfect in christ who is upright mark him so you you can be inspired to know that perfection is possible uprightness is possible we can be like christ and daddy has not only taught it he, he, he has taught it very clearly in an uncompromising manner for over 50 years but he has demonstrated it is a man of impeccable integrity by the grace of almighty god so we have found a perfect man we have found an upright man and we know by the mercy of god the end of that man is peace somebody shout hallelujah so to all of us seated here in Kado worship center and all over the world because daddy told me he said the service of today will be broadcasted all over the world and that will give me a few minutes to address us the bible says in the book of hebrews chapter 6 verse 12 that we should be followers of those who through faith and patience inherit the promise and if there is anybody who qualifies to tell us like paul that be ye followers of me because i follow christ daddy eminently qualifies for that we celebrate you sir we celebrate you sir in closing don't follow any man who is not following christ that person will lead you to hell hell is very real hell is at the end of a life is at the end of a life without christ um when i entered university of lagos 1977 where daddy taught us mathematics in that time uh, <laughs> uh, as a as a young believer we preach and daddy taught us we preach the gospel you you enter a bus you must preach you get to a house you must preach and the message is jesus only somebody say jesus only I carry tracks all over the place. So I was going from the Pamela campus to College of Education, and as a student, I waved a vehicle down um, to give me a ride. And he was a professor in the university. I was young in the university. So we sat down. So I removed one of the tracks, and I gave to him. It was one driver. And I began to share the gospel. And he said, stop, 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 stop. Are you a student? I said, yes, sir. Which department? I told him. When he heard that I was an engineering student studying land surveying, he said, okay, okay, okay. Tell me what, what's the shape of the earth? Oh, and that was what we were taught in class that week. So I told him, I gave him the formula. He said, huh? you Christian, when you talk about heaven, you point up. And the, the earth is round what is the geographical direction of hell I, I won't forget it I think he wanted to confuse me when a professor is asking a young uh, student question that's, that's some trouble I was praying Lord help me Holy Spirit help me Lord help me what will I say and the Lord gave me a word I said sir I didn't know he was a professor I said sir God forbid oh, it won't happen to you if you die without Christ, you will not only know the geographical direction of hell, you will know the exact location of hell. <laughs> because hell 
is at the end of a life without Christ. The man parked the car. He said, he opened the door, front door. He said, get out of my car. Get out. Get out. And I did. I didn't know the Holy Spirit had sowed a seed. Many years later, I was preaching at a major convention. When he saw my picture on the screen, he found his way to meet me. He said, can you recognize me? I said, not quite, sir. Ah. He said, I gave you a right 1977. And you told me hell is at the end of a life without Christ. And that if I die without Christ, I will find myself in hell. He said, that word troubled me for years until I gave my life to Christ. The man has gone to heaven. He died as a pastor. But it was part, part of what daddy taught us that I give to him. Daddy, we celebrate you, sir. Thank you. More grace to you. So we are glad on behalf of the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria. Daddy, thank you for giving us opportunity. And thank you for showing us love. Uh, we will enjoy the rest of the service together. And as we go home with overflowing joy, we too will go with overflowing joy. Thank you, and you are blessed in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for Jesus once again. Amen. God bless you. Let's be seated. You've heard the message, the geographical...